Hi, my name is Margaret and I'm the product owner at Woodpecker and this is Woodpecker Guide. Okay, so at Woodpecker we have prepared a special feature dedicated to cold mailing plus A-B testing. And first of all, A-B testing is to check what fits your prospect group the best. So it simply shows what kind of content the, is the best for your prospect group. And to perform A-B testing, there is a couple of rules to follow to keep it effective. First of all, remember um, that you should provide enough of prospects to send your campaign. Simply speaking, A-B testing or on a small group of prospects will not bring you the best result. But once you try with a couple of hundreds, that's the amount you should start with. Um, secondly, it's very important to keep your group homogeneous. So the best way to do your A-B testing, keep similar prospects within one campaign and just try out what works the best for them. As the last element, you should remember that to be able to compare versions between each other, you should try one element at the time. So for example, you're testing subject line, you're testing the copy, but don't mix it because then it's just simply difficult to get the result, what's the best for my prospects. Side notice, it's great for deliverability because A-B testing helps you get to the main inbox, which is the core idea of cold mailing. So just let me show you how it works in practice. This is the campaign edition mode. So here you create your campaign, at copy, at subject line. Um, let's take a first step. This is email one. Here we have version A and version B. That means that my group of prospects will receive either version A or version B. Um, you can add the following versions if you want. Um, and simply speaking, you need to decide at this moment, what am I A-B testing? So here we decided to change a subject line. As you can see, version A, this is my subject line, version B, slightly different. When we'll send it out, we'll just distribute it over the versions to let your prospect receive either version A or version B. If you have enough of prospects, feel free to add, for example, version C and then send a free variables. Remember not to use different subject line and different copy at the same time, because that's very difficult then to extract what is the best for your prospects. Important side notice, delivery time remains the same for both versions. So in this case, all of my prospects will receive the email in according with this um, delivery time. So as simple as that. Now let's go and see how it looks like on the stats. Because with A-B testing, stats are very important. So if you go to the um, bottom of the page, you will see how A-B testing is displayed. Here I have my version A and here version B. From this um, part of the app, you can decide if you want to keep sending both versions, which is perfectly fine if you want to, but you can also say, okay, my version A performs way much better than version B, so I'll just turn it off. You can turn it on at any time you wish, that's just up to you. Just um, check what works for your prospect the best and keep it sending as long as you prefer. Okay guys, so that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe our channel and wait for the next videos of Woodpecker Guide.